One hoop, two hoop, red hoop, blue hoop. This isn't your mother's hula hoop. Today, hoop dancing or hooping has evolved into an increasingly popular cultural phenomenon. Today's hoop dancing has its roots in the hula hoop, but it is stylistically different. They both involve manipulating a circular piece of tubing rhythmically around the body, but in hoop dancing, the hoop is revolved around all parts of the body. Modern hoops are larger and heavier which allow for more controlled movement around the body at a slower rotation. In 1957, an Australian company started producing hoops made from bamboo. The word hula was added to the word hoop because the rhythmic gyration required to keep the hoop from falling looked very similar to Hawaiian hula dancing. It is a centrifugal force of the hooper's body that keeps the hoop from falling to the ground. The toy company Whammo, also responsible for the frisbee, caught on to the idea and produced a plastic version which they distributed across California. They went to playgrounds to perform demonstrations and gave away free hoops to children. Within four months, 2,500 hula hoops were sold. Hula hoop contests were organized across the United States and now over 100 million have been sold. In the 1990s, the jam band String Cheese Incident tossed out hoops to their audiences encouraging them to dance. So the history as I know it for the hoop, um, you know, and as far as I go, I got it from String Cheese Incident. But what I've heard is that, um, going back down the line, is that there was, there's a guy called Paul Blair, his name is Paul Blair, they call him Dizzy Hips, and he showed a girl, who I don't know her name, how to make hoops out of irrigation tubing. And this is a really long time ago, this is probably like 15 years ago or something. And she was friends with the guys in String Cheese, and started, you know, she got really into hooping and started taking them on to their stages and they really liked it and so then they started making a bunch and just throwing them out to the audience. Today, hooping combines technical dancing and cues from rhythmic gymnastics, freestyle dance, jazz, African, ballet, twirling, hip hop, belly dance, fire dance, and of course hula to express artistic movement and other flow arts. Hoop dance artists and the greater hoop dance community meet all over the world for grassroots hoop jams or convergences. The annual Burning Man Festival in Black Rock City, Nevada has become a cultural phenomenon for hoopers and a melting pot where hoopers can share tricks, techniques, and energy. All these meetings are the foundation of the underground hooper subculture. Performance attire usually consists of flexible, colorful costuming. For some, the outfit is an important part of the expression. Um, and it's just like skateboarding or anything else, you know, there's fashion uh, that is common to that group of people. You know, you look at a, see a guy going down the street in a hoodie and baggy pants and you think, oh, he's probably a skateboarder. Same kind of thing. You see somebody in like a pair of, you know, flare pants, stretch pants and some feather earrings. You're like, oh, they're probably, a, you know, some kind of tribal hooper. Throughout time, the hoop or circle has symbolized the center of being, oneness and balance. One of the most ancient and mystical of all symbols, the hoop represents the sun and earth in internal movement, continuity, and eternity. Universal to dances across many cultures, the circular dance form brings life full circle. Many hoopers claim that being inside the hoop brings them spiritual peace, a feeling of calm, and a sense of being centered. And it makes sense. I mean, the circle of the hoop, the, you know, energy moves in circles and spirals and when you're when you mimic that motion with your body you know it's like you're really channeling the energy and really creating you know that sense of of being and, and where you want to go with your life and that intention you know and I think it's important and it's a beautiful thing that something so simple can create such amazing feelings and emotions it's more than fitness it's it's brings me joy and that's really the reason that I love to teach and love to perform is you can't be unhappy in the hoop. 
Anytime that I'm feeling tired or maybe frustrated, stressed, hoop around a little bit in a beautiful sparkly hoop and my spirits are lifted. <laughs> it's my form of meditation. The rhythm is a kind of soothing rocking in the cradle motion that can bring calm and inner peace. Hooping is uplifting, relaxing, energizing, focusing, and joyful. Practicing the flow can help you to move more freely without thinking, freeing the mind to focus on other things. It is sometimes called the new yoga because of its holistic health benefits. For others, hooping is simply a fun and playful alternative for physical fitness. I love this thing. This hoop has helped me to gain my life back. Not only has it helped me to shed over 100 pounds, but at times when things in life weren't quite going the way you expect them to, I would just get in my hoop and I would kind of forget about everything else and I would just focus on the movement and feeling good and getting loose. And it really helped me get through some, some hard times in my life. So it's helped me in so many different ways. Health benefits include toning and strengthening of core muscles, flexibility, rhythm, balance, increased body awareness, and reinvigorating the body by introducing new movements. It also frees up the hips and spine and increases hand-eye coordination. Hooping produces joy-inducing endorphins. Try to find a hooper that doesn't smile when they hoop. Also, it sure beats spending an hour on the treadmill. Hoopers burn an average of 100 calories per 10 minutes. Hoops can be used to tone the waist, hips, legs, and arms. There are beginning to advance moves on some unexpected places of the body. Anywhere from your hands to arms and elbows, neck to chest and waist, hips to knees and feet can be worked with the hoop. Some claim the mental benefits are even more important. The rhythmic meditative flow has helped people who suffer from depression. Modern hoops are for all ages, sizes, and shapes. They are cheap and easy to make. They can also be custom fitted for anyone large, tall, round, or small. Hoops have evolved from grapevines, to metal and wood, to plastic and polyethylene. A recent development in hoop technology is the LED hoop. This takes advantage of the persistence of vision phenomenon due to the bright LED lights moving at high speeds. LED hoops are beautiful and mesmerizing. Of course, if you want more excitement, there is always fire. Fire hooping is an innovation on the pyrotechnic arts like fire dancing and fire spinning. The hoops are made with barbs that stick out from a metal hoop with flammable balls at the end. The flames are actually six inches away from the hooper. The optical illusion is that there is a circle of flame revolving around the hooper as they perform their tricks. Whatever your hoop preference, there is a hoop for you. Whether you use it for meditation, dance, fitness, or play, hooping is fun!